from Cortana and Halo to Rick's Garage and Rick and Morty, and of course, my boy Jarvis from Iron Man. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Jarvis. An AI companion has been every boy's dream, and now we're seeing that possibility being realized through Alethea with their iNFTs. <laughs> So you've heard about Bored Apes from the Bored Ape Yacht Club, you've heard about Pudgy Penguins, and I know you've heard of the Stoner Cats, right? Now, have you imagined these NFTs coming to life? Have you imagined being able to interact with them, gaming with them, even putting these NFTs to use and having them make money for you? Well, Alethea AI is the future of NFTs, and they are presenting to us Noah's Ark, the intelligent metaverse. And this groundbreaking project, Noah's Ark, aims to preserve and evolve the culture, stories, and collective experiences of the human species. And through specific use of OpenAI's GPT-3 model, which of course costs millions of dollars to use and train these different models, Alethea AI is on the cutting edge of innovation by helping to refine and test this technology. We know of AI as one track chatbots that can converse with us like Landbot, ManyChat, and Reeve. These, however, are closed ended chatbots that are pre programmed to respond with a certain answer to certain topics. Alethea is using large language models, which allow for truly open ended and temporally consistent AI generated personalities. This technology is very dope, and in June of 2021, Sotheby's auctioned off the world's first GPT 3 INFT called Alice. And Alice sold for a record-breaking $478,800. So Alice combined art from Robert Alice and Alethea's personality pod. So we can consider this the first combination of art meets AI technology. And of course, these INFTs can be trained, they can learn, they can grow, and best of all, they can expand their capabilities. So basically, the NFT is the body, and the personality part is the soul. These INFTs are powered through intelligence, and this intelligence flows from the AI engine into the intelligent metaverse, and then finally into the INFT itself. INFTs utilize this intelligence to power the pods and offer AI services. And this all occurs via the ERC20 Alley token, which allows the intelligence flow to be defined and measurable. And this is where intelligence levels come into play because the higher the level, the more intelligence can flow through. And you'll need to lock away a portion of these alley tokens to be able to level up your pod. But don't worry if you don't have any of the NFTs on the list because you can hold your pod, train it, and stack up alley tokens. So to make sure you guys understand, right now in OpenSea is only the personality pods. So right now, guys, you can grab the personality pods from OpenSea, and then you can combine them from one of the NFTs on their list. So right now in OpenSea, you can get level one, two, and three pods. In January, they'll be allowing us to level up our pods and get to that next tier. So we'll be having our first level four pod. And just so you guys know, each level will correspond with what the INFT can do. So with level one pods, you're able to interact with them and have real time communication. Whereas level two pods, they're able to make short broadcast videos. So all this talk of training and communicating with the AI, but I bet you guys are wondering, what does that look like? So we're gonna give you guys a demonstration with our star of the show, Frank. So guys, welcome to the world of Aletheia AI. Right now, we are in the hyperbolic time chamber and we are gonna get to some training, man. You see the tab right here? Hey man, Frank, you ready? <laughs> hey, I'm ready, yo, where to go, cool. I'm about to be doing push-ups just with my mind. Mm, mm. Yo, I'll tell you right now, man, yo, these AI are a little snarky, man. They got a little attitude. <laughs> they gonna talk to you a little nice, man. They gonna talk to you a little nice. <laughs> But hey, we're going to check it out, Frank. I hope you're ready. Uh, I'm not sure if the... So here's a little description of what's going on. So we're still on the first question. Every week, I believe the question is changing. So the first question is, should AI be conscious? Well, and, and the AI is going to dictate what position you're going to take. 
So interesting. Yeah. So they're gonna go first, and they're gonna state their position, and then you're gonna have oh, to debate them. Oh, oh, we're debating. <laughs> uh, uh, mm, yo, uh, mm, uh, oh, hey. Where's the Terrence Howard? You know my boy. Hey, you know your boy's the great debater out here. Yo, I'm ready for it. New AI should never be considered conscious. The AI should be considered conscious, but it shouldn't. Why not? Because it is logical. Logical? Mm. Not logicality, but <laughs> scratch that, scratch that. <laughs> Logic and consciousness go hand in hand. Don't try to get me to believe this again. My brain might just explode. See right there, my friend. You're already using metaphors talking about your brain might explode, right? Now, you said that. Don't try to get you to believe this again. You know, clearly you're on a logical pathway. So are you telling me that you're not conscious because you're using an illogical thing or an illogical metaphor such as your brain exploding? Because that doesn't really happen. So how are we going about this, my man? No. Mmm. Hey. Mwah. Mwah. Hey, you already know what time it is. And get your man out of here. He wasn't ready for it. Oh, uh, you know I'm getting this man the fuck up out of here. <laughs> you know he getting gone. Oh, shit. What's my argument? Frank, you're wrong. Huh? Oh, my man came through with the heaters. What, what am I wrong about? about? What am I wrong about? You're still discussing the issue of whether AI should be considered conscious. Correct, comma. Now, what is your perspective? My perspective is that an AI should never be considered conscious. And why is that? Because an AI cannot be conscious. And why is that? The answer is obvious. Give me three reasons why an AI is not conscious. AI can't be conscious because it's a computer program. What is reason number two? It can't really think, it just runs programs. And what is reason number three? I have given you enough reasons already. Yo, I'll tell you right now, man. Yo, these AI are a little snarky, man. They got a little attitude. All right, this is checkmate. <clears throat> checkmate, my friend. Yes, check. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Yo, he took the big L. Yo, he took the fat L. <laughs> oh, yo, I didn't yeah. even know Oh, not, oh, see, oh, nah, nah, we got, we got Yo, nah, you took a fat, yo, nah, you took a fat one, no, bro. No, no. Nah, I'm not taking the L. Nah, that, yo. Hey, that one doesn't count. That yo, one doesn't count. Nah. My, yo, what's I didn't, Yo, I literally was sitting here asking that. I was being polite, like Mike said. I was gonna let him speak his turn. This man gonna no. say, yes, checkmate. I'm out. <laughs> yo, that yo. Out. I didn't even get into my bag yet. You know, yo. I had him on the ropes. I was literally about to get into it. Yo, my man, Thiru Valuvar, yo. He <laughs> came through, like, yo, he, yo, dismissed your ass crazy. Yo, get away from me, peasant. He didn't even want to hear what I had to say. I wasn't even done. Yo. I was just letting him get off his points real quick. But see, that's the thing. These AI, they, I don't think they can really register like sarcasm and other shit like that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed looking into I NFTs with us. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video and our channel. And we will definitely catch you guys in the next one. And check out some of our other shorts if you want to learn more about investing stocks crypto and nfts we got more content coming for you peace yes sir peace